Hey, hey, party people, it's Missy Bunch here. I am on my lunch break, and I decided to shoot you guys a quick video on a couple things. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about what the heck do I do on airplanes? I've got a lot of time to kill, and I feel like there's some mobility or some eye exercises or something I could do, and I think it's a great question. I've been getting it a lot this month, so I just wanna give you guys a couple things to work on while you're on planes, buses, Uber rides to and from your family's events and your friends' houses and all your parties. So here we go, all right? I love this stuff, so it makes me super excited. So you're in a seated position and you actually feel really restricted, but there are a lot of things you can do, okay? One of them is called my I Dream of Genie sequence. Why? Because you go boom. Okay, elbows up in line with your shoulders and hands. We're not gonna do this, but you could. <laughs> okay, your spine is meant to rotate, flex, and extend, right? So we need to work on those things, especially when you have nothing else to do. So you go, I dream of genie arms. Starting from your low back, you wanna rotate all your vertebra one at a time, just like you have a stack of bar napkins and you go around and you twist them up so they end up being in that pretty spiral. Go ahead and think of that while you're doing these. It starts from your low back, then it goes mid back, upper back, shoulders, and you get your elbows parallel to the side of the airplane or bus and unwind, okay? Three reps each side. I'm super tight today. I lifted heavy weights, so I definitely need to do these. Okay, relax, then arms go back up. Then you create a candy cane shape with your spine. You're gonna go up and over, laterally flex your spine, head heavy. Let this go with it, don't try to hold it up. Elbows parallel to the sidewall this time. Stacked vertically over each other. Okay, three reps, each side. This feels really good. I could live here all day. You notice I'm a little more restricted on this side. I can't actually get my elbow up quite as much. I have a tattoo on my left rib cage that has caused me quite a bit of tissue restriction. I'm working on it every day. That's a lie, not every day. I work on it sometimes. We're gonna inhale, exhale for cat camel. What I'm looking for on this is lots of movement in the upper T's not just booty popping from your low back, okay? I want an inhale from the uppers. Open your sternum, exhale, round your chest, okay? Three reps each direction. We're gonna move on to elbows. You go Frankenstein arms, thumbs go in towards your chest, past your shoulders and lock, okay? This is my favorite part of the body. This is the only area where a bone flips over another bone. Just let that sink in. It's pretty creepy and I love it. Okay, so we went thumbs in towards your chest, past your shoulders as much as you can, and lock. Okay, three reps. Then you reverse it. You bring your thumbs back around and lock. Moving on to your wrist. Elbows glued to your ribs, top of the wrist up, bottom of the wrist down. I know this looks super simple. I call this one paint the fence. But what I'm actually trying to do here is get my pinkies in line with my index fingers, relax the fingers, and focus on full range of motion in both flexion and extension, okay? Then that's also three reps. Then we have smooth the sheets. Put your hands on your imaginary bed. The outside of your wrist go out, inside of your wrist go in. Your wrist should be able to deviate from your radius and your, your ulna, where they meet the first row of carpals. Okay, why is this important? This is what we do all day. Do you think it's important to get your wrist in different ranges of motion than these? Probably. All right, so that's for your wrist. Now we're gonna work on two joints in your hand. We have one joint here and one joint here. There are a lot of bones in your hands, please believe. Palms face each other. Pinkies go in towards your face, down, around, and start over, okay? I call these the flamenco dancers. 
and you should actually focus on the area between your ring finger and your pinky and then go down until there's a ridge. Okay, you office desk athletes, you're gonna really wanna do these, okay, to unjam the inside of your hand. Then you have the reverse. Palms face each other. Index leads out away from your face, down towards your face, okay? Index leads out, down, up, grace the outside of your face, and start over, okay? These are called pinky leads figure eights and index leads figure eights. I just call them flamenco dancers because that's easy. All right, now we have the Michael Jacksons. So what you guys are gonna do for this is you're in your seated position. You're just gonna lift your leg up a little bit and rock your femur right and left, okay? Your femur bone, this big long bone in your leg is inside your hip socket like this. Hip socket, femur. When you do these Michael Jackson's hip pendulums, you're actually getting freedom in the hip socket where the femoral head is living in there. So cozy. But we gotta get some olive oil in those joints, okay? As my old dance instructor used to say. So lift the leg, do some Michael Jackson's, hee <laughs> hee, on each side. What you'll notice is most of you are gonna have a problem with internal rotation. This is gonna look really good, and then you're gonna go right, right. Okay, so even those out. Knee circles, draw a big circle with your foot. Okay, so this is hanging off your chair and you're drawing a big circle with your foot. Your tib, fib, meet your femur here and you can actually mobilize this joint from a seated position. How cool is that? So cool. All right, now we have my absolute favorite. These are called foot waves. Most of my clients get really mad at me when I make them do this. You're very welcome, okay? I wanna go over some education about this before we get started. So for your feet, the most effective athletes that there are are in the realm of gymnasts, martial artists, and dancers. I'm talking fast because I want you guys to have a short video, but I'm trying to shove this all in here. If we assess martial artists, gymnasts, and dancers, they have a lot in common. They move with grace. And one of the other things they have in common is they make hard things look easy. And they also have miraculous foot mobility. So I actually believe the smarter your feet, the better your body will move overall. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. Argue with me later if you want to. But here we go. So you're in a seated position. You're gonna flex your ankle, so you bring your toes back towards your knee or your nose. You're gonna bring your toes back, put your foot down, but leave your toes back. Then point your toes like you're grabbing a pencil off the floor. Then from the ankle, you're gonna roll up slowly. You probably will get a foot cramp. Okay, so this is bend the ankle, toes back. Point your foot, but keep your toes back and point. Drag up from the bottom of your foot to the top of your toes. Okay, so this is a foot wave. Now the reverse. Bend your ankle, curl your toes, point your foot, flex your toes, and back. Flex, point, I'm sorry, that was extension. Toe extension and back. So this is the reverse. And the goal here is not just your little tootsies, it's the area in between your ankle and your toes. So I actually want you to focus on articulation between here, all this stuff that never gets any attention, okay? And then you obviously have ankle circles, guys. Big, fat, huge, wide ankle circles. I don't want fast, lazy, quick ones. You don't get to see where you have choppy movement if you do fast circles. So what I like you to picture is there's a flashlight poking out of your heel and you want your circle to be drawn by the light of your flashlight. Okay, if that cue doesn't work for you, that's fine. Try to relax your toes. Pretend like your heel is the white pool ball when you're playing pool. 
It should be able to go all ranges of motion, pain-free and not choppy. So my little choppy bit is my down and right, okay? So I have to focus extra hard on that. Okay, you guys, so that was a quick 10 minute video, the fastest I could get done. I have a lot of other things I wanna go over, but if you like this one, go ahead and message me or email me and I'll send it to you directly. That way you can have it on your phone and you won't need the internet to access it. And I'll do another video sometime soon. And that one will be about your jaw, your eyes, your fingers, and your pelvis and other things just like that okay have safe travels i'm so grateful for you and i hope that this is actually useful for you in your life that is actually what i do on planes and yes i look ridiculous but i don't really care because i love to feel good and move well so that i can make a difference on this planet and i hope that you do mobility on your plane okay Talk to you soon and take care. Move well and move often.